Welcome to Chapter 4, Standards, Procedures, and Guidelines. This week we're going to look at how we can secure our system following government guidelines, government laws, and acts, and what is the best policy to put into place. So, for Chapter 4, our reading assignment is going to be Chapter 4, Week 4. Uh, you're going to have a discussions question, a weekly paper, and your quiz. Again, look at the lecture notes for the PowerPoint slides and for our videos. You also have your journal due, so that is on the assignments tab. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. So our goals, some of our chapter goals, explain the major U.S. compliance laws, utilize best practices to create secure access policy, understand what access control and how it fits into the IT overall structure, and the and some examples. So what is compliance laws? Well, it's the regulation cor modern corporations are required to file with the US government. And we have some basic laws we have to follow. So if you're in the healthcare, you've got HIPAA. If you're in the financial, you have the Sabre and Act, uh, Oxley or SOX. So there's different laws that have been created that now we have to follow along. Uh, there's Graham Leach Beachley, the Ch Children's Internet Protection Act, Northern American Electronics, Family Education. So how do all those laws come into play? Well, if you're in the healthcare, you got to make sure you're protecting it. If you're in the financial business, you have to make sure that you're filing everything correct. All these laws have come about over the years due to the Enron scandal, uh, Bernie, San or Bernie Madoff. Because they've violated the trust of the public, the government had to step in and put these laws into place to prevent other companies. Companies are now, CEOs are now held responsible for what's going on, for what's happening. Uh, in the past, they weren't, and that's why they would get away with this. So, you know, with the Internet, the Inter Ch Children's Internet Protection Act, well, that's just a little bit about how do we go about protecting children. They don't know. We have to make sure we have the right laws in place. How do we ch protect our infrastructure in the U.S.? That's the North American Electric Reliability Council, and that handles the regulation for energy, water, and other, home and other in institutions. Homeland Security Act, how does that protect us? And these are all the different acts that have been put in place. And this is great that the government put these in, but how do, as a go, as an organization, how do we put these in place? What are we gonna do? We need to have policies in place. Policies that follow, procedures, who signs off on it? What authentic authentication do we have before we grant rights and accesses? And this is what this chapter is all about. How do we go about implementing those policies without hindering our business, without passing the, the extra burden onto our, our uh, customers? So this is what this comes down to. How do we go about all this information? And what laws do we have to follow and which ones we don't? So these are the areas that we're concerned with this way. So from an IT security policy framework, which is how we put this together. What is the policy about? What is it gonna cover? What are the standards, industry standards? Who uses what, when, and where? What guidelines are there? So we're gonna put these into place. And the last thing is the procedures. How do we put these procedures in? Without, you know, who's gonna sign off on it? Is it just gonna be a uh, manager? Does the CEO have to sign off on it? Does the uh, president, depending on the level of security, at what levels do we have? And what, what's the, how does this affect the end user? So that's some of the things that we looked at in this chapter. So basically we're looking at several areas, scenarios where access control is mandated by laws. Others it's controlled by policy and uh, business goals. We learned some best practices, some standards we should use. And this is what this chapter was about. So that's what we're covering this week in chapter week four, chapter four, uh, access control policy standards and procedures. Have a wonderful re week and remember what made you smile.